both the lectures and uh, the presentation that I will have uh, later today uh, are about the new book that I wrote, which is titled Strategic Management and the Circular Economy. Uh, as the title says, the book is trying to merge uh, two aspects. One is uh, the strategic management process, which is basically the standard uh, process that all companies use, which goes from uh, analyzing the data to formulating a strategy and planning its implementation. And on the other side, uh, the circular economy, which is uh, the new paradigm that uh, is coming to light uh, recently and is uh, against the linear paradox of uh, uh, the economic system that we live today, in which we live today, no? where uh, in linearity we are working from uh, resource material extraction, uh, manufacturing, use, and uh, end of use, which is the death of the product, and uh, the products uh, get wasted. In a circular uh, economy, we are trying to maintain uh, whatever resource we extract from the earth into the system for as long as possible. So it means creating a circularity in which uh, uh, the use, the end of life of the product fits back into production by maximizing recycling. So it's not just recycling uh, of uh, paper and plastic as we, we used to, to know already, but uh, every component of the product from uh, um, minerals to chemicals and this is just one aspect of the circular economy is also producing in a way that is more sustainable and maintaining these resources inside the cycle for as long as possible so going against the product obsolescence of uh, uh, or similar principles that are just uh, aiming at producing more and more all the times and is more instead of uh, uh, creating products that are environmentally friendly. Well, I came uh, here to, first of all, to, to give this, this lecture inside the, the MBA program and uh, see the perception that uh, students here have on uh, multinationals and startups. So we are discussing both companies that are ma marketing their products uh, across the borders and the startups that could develop locally. Uh, with these principles in mind from the beginning, which is always simpler than having to change a structure that is uh, obsolete.